Hi, my name is Sylvia Barron, and I'm the third vice president of the Women's Club of Indio. The Women's Club of Indio is an amazing organization. Our mission is to improve our community through active engagement. Our business, we like to say, is volunteering. And we did a lot of that last year. We volunteered over 6,100 hours. We were founded in 1912. And as the oldest service club in the Coachella Valley, our priorities over years have changed. We focus on five key areas. Arts and culture, civic engagement and community involvement, education and libraries, the environment, and health and wellness. We host drives for donations to support those in need, and we also fundraise to support our volunteer efforts. We also donate to and mentor students through the Ophelia Project. We volunteer and donate books to the Read With Me program to help very young students learn how to read. By empowering others with the gift of an education, we are immensely proud to be able to benefit our entire community. Take a listen. I got started in the Read With Me program in 2017. The idea is that the teachers basically identify kids who need extra help reading, and then we work either one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two or maybe even a group. It's one of the most fun things that I do as far as being a volunteer. We support them by giving them the money that covers the books that go to schools in India. I am currently a first year student at the University of California Riverside and I am majoring in chemistry. I'm currently a first year at the University of California Riverside and I am majoring in business. I go to South Coast College. I'm currently attending uh, for my certificate in court reporting. When I was in second grade my dad was having trouble finding a job so we ended up um, living in one room. It was my mom, my dad, and my two older sisters and me. My dad did find a job in Indio and we moved and I came here when I was in the fourth grade. I began to take medical classes in sixth grade and then from there I just really loved it and I continued um, the rest of middle school and high school. Well, being in Palm Springs, I mean, it's kind of hard not to see a golf course. I started at the age of four um, with just a plastic golf club and a tennis ball. While I was seven, I started competing all across the valley. Um, I entered middle school and I started uh, getting rashes all over my body. And I was getting to the point where my eyes were starting to, to close. They diagnosed me with the condition called photodermatitis, which means I'm allergic to the sun. The doctor basically said um, at that, that day that I was not going to be allowed to uh, step onto the golf course or play golf ever again in my life. And that's something that is completely heartbreaking to hear after putting so many years of passion into a sport that you love. Um, so I played in pants and in long sleeves, long socks, a big bucket hat. I am actually uh, 32. I have been in the workforce now for, you know, since I was 15. You know, you just get so involved with like, oh, I need to get money. And then you kind of put your education somewhat on the back burner. And I kept saying, I'll try, I'll try. And it just, it didn't happen. I saw a quote once and it just, changed me. We have two lives to live and the second begins when you realize you only have one. Because of that quote, I ended up applying to school and I said, you know what, it's time. I applied for the scholarship and I was surprised I got it. <laughs> there was a presentation at the Indio Women's Club about the Ophelia program and the impact that it's had on young women in middle school and high school. And the, the power of the program, the, the students' GPAs came up more, they had a higher rate of graduation and continuing on in some form of education, whether it was college or trade school. So it's such an impact, I had to jump in and, and be a part of it. It really helped me. I feel like the community as well, when I came to get my scholarship, they were really kind and loving and really supportive. I just thank you. You know, if you do, you know, you, you have helped me a lot and you have made it easier for me to keep going. It's so powerful to help these young women and you know that you're opening doors for them, you're showing them what's possibilities in life, that they can go on, that they can grow into new things. It's kind of paying it forward. It's very important to either mentor or you have the option to support the girls through 
financial donations, you know, creating scholarships. I appreciate all the support you guys give us and all of the people in Indio, and I am so happy that you guys, uh, thank you to all our donors. Honestly, this is truly a blessing, and I wouldn't be where I am without you guys. I was really struggling um, to find a university that I wanted to go to, um, specifically financially, and I feel like the scholarship that the Women's Club of Indio really helped me decide what university I wanted to go to. It's women to women, and it, it, you see what you do for these young women. You see them blossom. They go from maybe a GPA of 1.9 to a four point plus by graduation. And you see them going on to school and you have such an impact on these young lives. Sometimes I do feel like I'm like, ah, oh, there are nice, kind people out there that are willing to help people in need. And because of you, it's just very, I'm very grateful.